Howdy folks, Gyro Jeremy here. Um, what I've been experimenting with today is what they call an earth capacitor. Um, I think it's kind of a cross between a battery and a capacitor, but uh, that's what they call it anyhow. Um, so what it is, is aluminium foil and copper foil with a barrier um, between them. Uh, whether it be paper or plastic or whatever. I've, I've used cotton because it absorbs water um, and uh, so yeah um, so that's that one, it's just rolled up on a coil um, so all I used is the is a copper sheet um, I used, uh, sorry the cotton sheet I used the aluminium foil tape uh, it's got the sticky side on one side. Um, I'm not sure how that would affect the conductivity because the adhesive is not conductive. So only one side of my tape is, is conducting. Is conducting. Um, to get the conductive adhesive it's quite expensive and this is just a roll of tape that I already had. So uh, The copper I used uh, was actually quite a thick piece of copper that I had lying around. Um, much too thick for for this sort of thing, but uh, it did the job. Um, so we'll hook it up to the multimeter. Um, when I first did this and it was dry, there was no voltage or um, amperage. Um, and so what? Yeah, and then once I put it in water. Um, and then instantly the, the voltage and amperage jumped up. Uh, so we've got that on 200 milliamps. Um, and it kind of, it's going, it's dropping down now that it's out of the water. Um, but it was kind of sitting around uh, 20, uh, sorry, 30 milliamps. Um, and we'll swap that over to voltage. It only has um, a half a volt, which was kind of a little bit disappointing, but but the uh, the amperage was um, a lot more than what I've seen in my previous previous uh, earth batteries. Um, I've read that once you bury these in the ground, um, over time the voltage and amperage uh, increases. Um, so that'll be interesting to see. I'm going to go through that in the ground now and let it sit for a couple of days and I'll come back and do some tests and see what it's doing. <laughs> 